little hamster broke his arm and they wrapped it. Oh, that is very cute. I love a household that believes in giving every animal a fighting chance, you know? It makes the hunt more fun for their cats. Hug me. That's where buildings. Doesn't matter. I need it. Okay, bring it in. Oh. Hat, hat. She's found a new spot in my car. Silly puppy, I can't drink from you. Okay, you can stay there. But if I go get a coffee and I forget that you're there, we have to agree it's your fault, okay? Took my son to a concert. <laughs> Oh, no, you're not, okay, no. It's a ginger cat. I've had Mr. Tibbles for less than two weeks, and I can absolutely envision him eventually doing this. Like, my God, I'm pretty certain he's just an animated teddy bear. You couldn't... I've never had or been around cats that are so comfortable with you rubbing their bellies. I thought that was just a dog thing. Soundproof walls. I can yell anything I want, and no one can hear me. I love my family. Me eating outwards with my host family and feeling out of place. Their eight-year-old niece, including me, to the best of her abilities. We all deserve a friend like this. Come get some food with me. I'm broke. Hey, did I ask if you had money? Uh, no, I guess not. Thank you. Yeah, so you'll be the driver, okay? Now wear this balaclava. It's not symmetrical or perfect, but it's beautiful because it's mine. Ah, uh, that explains why it's not beautiful or perfect or symmetrical. Ooh, a bam! Just Uno reversed on that self-compliment! Bride's father passed away 10 years ago. He was an organ donor, and the man who received his heart transplant walked her down the aisle for him. Okay, that's just bloody sweet. No notes. 10 out of 10, moving on before I get teary. A camera is better than a rifle to shoot an animal. Oh, that is so true. With a camera, you get to better savor the moment, like time almost stops because you're just there for so long shooting the animal. With a rifle, bam, they're dead, it's done. But with a camera, you know, the bludgeoning damage takes its time. If you're lucky, it'll also receive the dazed effect, so it has a disadvantage on its turn. Still got a long way to go, but progress is still progress, right? Yeah, well, congrats, man. You finally got a little finger holder for your phone. I believe in you with all my heart, Carlos! And then they kissed. Mwah. Just kidding. No, this is reality. Sorry, fanfic simps. Me not doing anything for Valentine's Day. <laughs> my wife not caring because I'm good to her all year. Heard my six-year-old slowly and painstakingly reading a Nat Geo book about otters to his stuffed otter because I wanted him to know about his family. Oh, sweetie, that is adorable. So hopefully he'll beat it and get out of here. I'm sick of him not paying any Rhett! Alfred, can Clark sleep over? As I've told you before, Master Wayne, you're a grown man. You can do whatever you want. Yes! 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 Oh no, James Fridman, the Photoshop, Photoshop extraordinaire. extraordinaire. Hi James, I have muscular dystrophy and can't straighten my arms. Can you make me look normal in my homecoming picture? Thanks! Now this guy's notorious for absolutely making photos worse in a very cynical but hilarious way. So let's see how he absolutely embarrasses and ruins this photo. Acceptance of your true self can be a constant battle. The term normal is a propaganda technique used by the modern society to make us conform to a pre-existing standard. If people can't look past your physical condition, they are most likely not worth your attention. A pretty young girl with a genuine smile and beautiful hair is all I see in this picture. Wow, James, to respond to this as if I was a comment on an Instagram reel, that is the most disgusting thing you could have ever said! Oh my gosh! Are you implying she's normal as she is? Oh wow, so she's just mid then. She's just basic in your eyes, huh? D d disgusting! A 13-year-old boy opened a hot dog stand in front of his house in Minnesota, and someone complains to the health department. Instead of shutting him down, the health department decided to help him meet its standards and pay the $87 fee for his permit. Now it's a business with a permit from the city of Minneapolis. Hell frickin' yeah, my man! See government, with a bit of support and encouragement, you can essentially find a loophole in child labor laws and get that extra tax revenue you're so desperately hunting for. The teacher putting a 2013 meme into the PowerPoint. Me and the boys laughing at it because we genuinely appreciate the effort she puts in. Oh, shut the f- Don't make that. Don't remind me that this is over 10 years ago now. I thought this was wholesome memes. Well, you're not really doing a good job filling the hole in my heart from realizing this. Pros of a chubby girlfriend. Soft. Nice hugs. Thigh pillows. Titty pillows. Cons of a chubby girlfriend. None. Right, well, it seems that you want a chubby girlfriend then. Pros of a skinny giraffe. No, oh, okay. Fits in your arms really nicely. Your hoodies are too big on her, which is 
is beautiful. Ah, but the cons of a skinny giraffe. Well, I don't think you can legally own one, and also that they sound a bit malnourished. None. Okay, so you're caught between a chubby girlfriend and a skinny giraffe. Which one will you choose? Pros of a muscled, um, guy fucker. Abs? Biceps? Please? Strong goof. Pick me up, please. Most likely works out a lot, which is hot. Oh, but the cons of a muscled guy fucker. None. What is the kindest thing a pet has done for you? I don't remember this myself because I was too young. My parents had a dog named Charlie who was absolutely terrified of the vacuum cleaner. But after I was born, any time my mother vacuumed, Charlie would stand dead fast between me and the vacuum cleaner. Trembling in every limb, my mother says, but determined to protect the baby, me, from the monster. Lots of banging noises outside. I find my Romanian neighbors have rebuilt my fence which had fallen down a while ago. Oh, when I offered money and beer as gratitude, they said it was better to do nice things rather than expect something. Bloody foreigners coming here and building fences! Ah, oh, you're just gonna be nice and charitable with your time because you find value in it and you like knowing that other people are feeling better in life because you did a good thing for them. God! Mr. Rogers was so prepared that he even prepared children for his death. Okay, that totally sounds like some sort of cult thing. I will return in three days from this cave. Worship me, children. When he died, his website posted a link to help children understand what happened. The post read, Remember that feelings are natural and normal, and that happy times and sad times are part of everyone's life. Ugh, bro out here trying to normalize people feeling sad as just an expression of life no different than being happy. How dare you? Me as a kid reading the back of the box on the new game I got over and over on the car ride home. Oh man, Pokemon Emerald, bro. Rayquaza. Oh man. When I got that Schmidt. When I got that with a Game Boy Advance SP, a red one. Ooh, baby. I cried. It was my first Pokemon game. I'd seen everyone playing those when growing up, and I finally got my own. Oh! I remember opening the packet and just pulling out the tiny cartridge that was inside. My mum looked and said, Is that all that is? I said, Yeah, it's meant to be small. And it wasn't until many years later that I understood why my dad cackled. So I walked into the dentist this morning. My dentist asked me how my weekend was. I said, Oh, good. I watched Captain America last night. I really liked it. And my dentist says, Oh, my son is in that movie. At first I thought he was joking, but then I realized realized. Dr. Robert Evans. I looked it up. My dentist is Captain America's dad. Christoph Waltz played an anti-racist in Django Unchained and an ultra-racist in Inglorious Bastards. He won Oscars for both of these roles. My grandpa left this surprise in my grandma's camera roll on her new phone. <laughs> Yes! I want to know the raw photo count here. How many takes was he constantly deleting because he realized he screwed it up? There is no way he got this all on the first try. I want to see the drafts. Woman who was stabbed 32 times by her ex-boyfriend married the paramedic who saved her life. And there it is, the secret to true love. Learn some first aid and other practical medical skills. <coughs> it's okay, it's okay, I've got you. Are you single? What? Are you single? No. Ah, oh, man. Where are you going? I fixed the meme I saw yesterday here. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, no, it's just... <laughs> OMFG, it does fit! Oh. And it only cost us both our other arms. I had to stop saying that my job is easy, and I had to start saying I'm very good at my job. Language matters. Don't ever downplay yourself. Oh, oh, that's... Oh, damn! I'm someone who hates positive, like, affirmations on myself. I just, I can't get behind it. This, though, it, like, it tricks the part of my brain that refuses to do it. Because it's still factual. Because if you weren't very good at the job, you wouldn't find it easy. But you do find it easy, so you are very good at your job. So suck it, self-doubt! You're actually good at something! Haha, <laughs> you freaking loser! My freshman year roommate sat me down day one and was like, uh, heads up, I'll be bringing lots of girls and maybe even some guys to the dorm this year, so if that scares you, grow up, cause this ain't high school. Anyway, he brought one girl back the whole year and now they're married. <laughs> hey, he already knew what he wanted and he, he went straight for it. This kid is 11, and in my organic chemistry class, he said if we have questions to just email him. So that was 2016 and 2017. Update on Daniel, he's now in advanced chemistry. Ah, he's becoming a real Walter White. Let's see how he's going one year later. He's a researcher now. Like many 12-year-olds, Daniel Liu enjoys reading books and wears t-shirts covered in cartoon characters. But unlike most boys and girls his age, Liu has been honored at the White House for his science achievements and is now a published scientific researcher at the University of Toledo. Dude is speed! 
speedrunning life. Just, you don't need to achieve all the achievements, you know? Like, there's one of them. Starts with a D. Honestly, if you could just not rush that experience, that'd be great, because it won't be fun for you. Diary is no joke, folks. I'm 37. Instead of regretting that I can't wake up age 18 again, I pretend to myself that I'm 90 and I've woken up age 37 again, and that I go to magically, wonderfully have the next 50 years again. Ew, that is such a great perspective on your life. How dare you come at me with perspectives of the world that really do shake my entire understanding of my life and where it's going. You get out of here. His dad designed shoes to give his paralyzed daughter the sensation of walking. Oh, that is so adorable. I love this and trip. Now this is the news I want to see on my timeline. A three-year-old cancer survivor served as a flower girl in her bone marrow donor's wedding. Oh, that's so sweet. Literally in debt to this woman for the rest of your life. <laughs> I don't see why more mafias and such actually take on this sort of thing. Just jump into the donor pool. Offer everything you can because then those people are just forever in servitude of you. Hey adults, what is something you'd love receiving as a gift, but no one even considers giving you because you're an adult? Uh, I got a call from a friend. She said it's a birthday and we should all come over. I got the date and time and event correct, but w not the, whose birthday it was. Although I was confident it was for a kid. Uh, why else would she say, bring the whole family? Well, we show up and I'm frankly concerned by all the craft beer with bows and balloons on it. I set our gift bag down and we join the party. Shortly after, her husband shouts with joy and wants to know who got him the big Lego set. Well, that was me, and uh, you're welcome. So my answer is Legos. Adults want Legos. Yeah, there's a valid reason for this. It's stimulating. It's constructive. We're doing something. There's also no inherent competition about it, like painting or art itself. Like, you have to be practicing and working on your skills as an artist if you actually want to find satisfaction in what you create all the time. But Legos? You can, you can build whatever you want. No one can. Like, it's Legos. It's not a competition in that regard. It's just fun. Now it's our cone of shame. Honey, this is not what I meant when I said I wanted you to kiss my- Even sadder is that your name reminded me of an online friend who has the same username as you on Instagram, Aquasky. She hasn't been on for two years. I miss you, weeb. Bro, that's me. <sighs> it's beautiful. Me. What do you want to be for Halloween? My four-year-old. That funny astronaut. Me. I got you, girl. Hi, I'm literally that person. This image warms my heart. So appreciative of you getting the shot I got many years ago. Thank you. This is one of the images that I hope never leaves humanity, ever. It just It's like a yearly thing we get brought back to. Progress is the best feeling in the world. Ah, oh, the satisfaction of finally finding yourself a bed frame. That one you can afford and is actually decent. Not just, I'll buy something so at least I have something, you know? Oh, man. I love posts like this. It shows realistic and relatable growth, which often isn't shown on social media. Hurry, someone start a subreddit where it's just celebrating small wins like this. It gives our channel more content, yeah. <laughs> we'll cover that up because we're little goblins. Gro grubby, grubby, grubby goblins just coming in and stealing all the content we can so there's this role of a single dad, Pedro Pascal. Say no more, I will do it and make everyone kind of want me down there. Ryan Gosling. When I was 16 and moved to Los Angeles and was auditioning at Warner Bros, they wouldn't have let me climb the t water tower. And 10 years ago, when I shot La La Land here, they wouldn't have let me climb the water tower. For whatever reason, right now, at this stage in my life and career, they're letting me climb the water tower. So climb it while you can, because I don't know if I'll be able to climb it tomorrow. Wait, they seriously needed the crane to get him up there? Or the crane is just the shot? Oh, no, okay, no. The crane is just the shot. Gotcha. They don't want Ryan Gosling to accidentally let out the Warner Bros. And the Warner sister, Dot. Why people been hiding hockey from us for years, bruh? This stuff is lit! Ah, oh, Tony, I'm glad to see you're appreciating other cultures uh, a form of entertainment. This shit lit as frick, Lemurie! The goalie just said frickin' and left? Empty net? This has made me realize how much content on Twitter is out there right now that is so pointless to read because unless you were there in that moment, you're not gonna have any idea of the context. Well, the Rams left me. Hey, St. Louis Blue saved me. And welcome to Hockey Twitter and St. Blue's fandom, Solo City. Want to check out Game 3 Live? It's on us. Damn, they, wow. They're just giving him a free ticket. Oh, I'm there. Uh, should I bring a jacket? I am so serious. It, it's a room full of ice. Oh, I want to get a jersey of uh, an underdog, like a dude who never plays and when his uh, number gets called, he can't 
can't even find a stick. I think you'd look best in my 91. It's done. Just ordered. Hey, I can sign your jersey or get you a new one. Happy to have a new St. Louis Blues fan. Dude, I, I think I want to be a St. Louis Blues fan now. Hey, and he, ma he made it. It's nice. It's not cold. Noted for future references. <laughs> Looks like Salyu City is enjoying his first hockey game. Oh, that's the end game. They were just using him for promotion and advertisement. Well, I'll have you know it worked really well, actually. This was great because he kind of got a free experience and really enjoyed himself. And uh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't think this is a bad thing. I contain a whole world of imagination. I contain 100,000 worlds of imagination. Uh, uh, I also smell nice. Man, this is some bullshit. Animals aren't as smart as humans. Also animals. Enormous lion terrifies photographer with a loud roar, then smiles at him. Hey, you like that? You want, you want me to take it again? Also send that to me. I need to update my Tinder profile. Lonnie Johnson, NASA engineer, invented the super soaker. He made your childhood hot summers fun. You're telling me all this time I wasn't just having fun and wasting water. I was actually promoting scientific advancement. God damn it. Why didn't I know about this? Oh, that would have been such a great excuse to keep playing. Who cares about the water bill, mother? I'm encouraging science. I accidentally told my friend the sweetest pickup line ever. I started talking about solipsism, the belief that everything around you was created by your mind. And I went, and so if everything around me is all my imagination, then you're the best thing I've come up with. She was speechless for a solid five minutes. My friend, that's because their brain was glitching in a sort of a, a numerical error. Their brain's trying to calculate if it's worth just giving in and smooshing your face right now. You're an endangered species. Oh no. You've been added into Minecraft, which will bring more awareness about your situation and maybe we can fix it. Oh, yay! A young woman caught a home run ball hit by Japanese MLB superstar Shohei Otani during the World Baseball Classic and someone next to her wanted to see the ball. And it eventually got passed around the stadium to whoever wanted to see it. And it was returned to her after everyone got their turn. Uh, only in Japan could you do that. Also, you know, maybe wash your hands after touching the ball. I'm just saying a lot of people touched it. Today, you could be standing next to someone who is trying their best not to fall apart. Whatever you do today, do it with kindness in your heart. That's a very good point. I'm sure it must be really stressing them out to try and stay solid like that. If I just help them fall apart, then they can finally relax and be at peace. So I'm going to stop banging their shins. As my 90-year-old patient and his 85-year-old wife, who had been married for 65 years, what the secret to forever was. She stated, Never forget why you fell in love with them. Never stop dating. He chimed in with, Never forget that she could always find better. I'm still crying. Bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh No, time out. That is not as sweet as it sounds. I mean, the woman's advice, very sweet. Constantly treat it like you're, you know, you're trying to woo each other. There's a sense of, I'm both, we are both equal value. The man's advice, you have to consistently prove you are worth her time, otherwise she will find someone better. You understand you are worth nothing unless you prove it to her every day. You cannot relax, otherwise she could leave you. So as long as you have that consistent anxiety in your relationship, you will be happy forever, young man. She ain't gonna be there forever. It's time you do things for her while she's still around. My life. My mom. Well, that's freaking Okay, well, your mom's an artistic genius. That's unfair. C I can I have your mom? <laughs> See that flower? That flower was in a small pot in my living room, but it outgrew its surroundings, so I transplanted it here in the garden. Seems like it's doing okay. Oh yes, it's flourishing. Now, when I pulled the flower out of the small pot in my living room, it resisted a little. You know, it tried to hang on by its roots. I had to force it out. Because you thought it would do better out here in the real world, right? No, because I thought if I left it there, it would stop growing. Yeah, back energy with something still meaningful. Haha, <laughs> but you're also wrong, you idiot. A Dutch supermarket introduced slow checkouts for lonely elderly people who want someone to talk to. The move has proven so successful that they have installed the checkouts in 200 stores. They have also added a chat corner where locals could meet for a cup of coffee and a chat. Tiredness. Problems at work. Stress. Six-year-old me asking my dad to play with me. My dad. Yeah, sure, kid. Some insects are so strong. Look at this beetle. His kids are going away to college. But he does not cry. Oh, so strong. My cat is cuter than yours. Fight me. Bring it. Bring it, bro. Look, whoa, my cat's freaking adorable. You, oh, I can hold him up in an equal location like a little baby. I got a baby cat. It's like a baby human. I'm going to beat yours. Ha! My ruse was successful. Now I have hundreds of super cute animal pictures to look at when I'm down. You stupid idiots fell right into my trap. 
A girl in my geography class had to bring her newborn to class today. The baby started crying in the middle of our quiz. When she took him out to hold him, my professor insisted that he wouldn't mind feeding the baby and rocking his car seat until she was done. This is my so-so awesome sweet professor on his knees. Sweet little baby. Geography, geography, geography. What are you whispering to my child? I'm not whispering anything. You like geography. Study geography, geography. When this picture was taken, I was 12. I am now 25, and this man looks exactly the same as he did the day I met him. Biceps and conference and everything. Crazier thought, he is still the thoughtful, strong, kind family man I met back then too. Happy birthday, OG Terry Crews. It'll be uh, hell on earth the day that man passes. Honest, like, uh, no, you're not allowed to leave now. You have, you're, <laughs> you're officially immortalized forever. I'm sorry. That's the punishment you get for being such a wonderful person. I love your hair. Oh, thank you. I love your dress. Oh, thank you. I'm going to name her Judy. Oh, I swear. I parked my bike here last night. Hey, hey, listen, M my mom. Mom can handle this. Where was it last night? It was here. What's that? Whoa! My dad never asks for his picture to be taken. Then today he asks for his picture and then does the most extra dad thing ever. Fart. We adopted an 11-year-old cat from a shelter in Chicago. He and my 13-year-old daughter fell in love. This is them after she got back from a week at camp. <laughs> this is basically what I do with Mr. Tibbles at night. He's sleeping on my desk because I'm working late. So I just scoop him up, take him to the bed, and I just flop down on my back and I just, just cuddle him on my chest. Ha, <laughs> it's so good. My wife and I went to my ex's wedding last week, and when my ex and I introduced our spouses to each other, they hugged enthusiastically, and then my ex smiled at me and yelled, Look at where our lives have led! And I laughed so hard, and it was all very nice. The end. Obsessed with this photo of my grandmother with her weightlifting class from a few years ago. Finally, Facebook memories shows me something good. Man, I envy you. I, I cringe at every moment I get a Facebook memory. I do not want to be reminded what I posted years and years ago. I shouted at my kitty today for being naughty. Five minutes later, I find my other kitty comforting her and glaring at me. Honestly, I'm proud of you for being able to tell the difference between them. I, th this is why I would never want two cats of the same coat. This, I, uh, no way. I just call them both the same name for simplicity. My neighbor complained about my kids being too loud. They were. I bought her flowers and a car telling her that they aren't used to living in an apartment yet. She left me some alphabet cookies with a sweet card saying we will adjust together and that was beautiful as hell. Ew. People in an apartment space understanding each other's, you know, circumstances? Considering all the factors that might be making such issues occur? Disgusting. So I ordered a burrito to go with no olives. This was on top of the box. To remind you what you've done. You've given those, o those olives no work. They were fired because you didn't want them in their establishment anymore. What are they gonna tell their kids, huh? It's all, you've, all your fault. My D&D character, Herbitha Finfine. She's an all-baking, all-embroidering, all-worries Midwestern turtle druid, based on my mom. Oh my god, I love that she has a giant spoon. That's perfect. That's, e e that's beautiful. It's everything I could ever imagine. Maybe I don't have to be so tough. Maybe I can be vulnerable sometimes. <laughs> Is that all you got, uh? motherfucker? Women, girls of Reddit, what are the cutest, most wholesome first date options that we guys don't think about? After having some extremely terrible first dates, I told the guy I was talking to that I wasn't really comfortable going on a date. One night, he asks if I'd like to run a couple of errands with him. He took me to a store where he uh, bought a bunch of candy, and after leaving the store, he pointed to this really old and small theater and asked if I would like to check it out. After the movie, he asks if I was hungry, as he was, and proceeded to treat me to a great dinner. The mother flipper tricked me into a perfect date night. Okay, just noting that down. Trick the Deceive the woman into being with you. Great advice. Thank you. Very wholesome. I ordered Uber Eats for my grandma to try, and not even a day later, she's taking control. Red car outside my house. Yeah, that's the Uber Eats guy. He'll bring you the food. Wow, he brought me a Wendy's. One day later. Wendy's. Uh, you want another Uber? No! Boston College has a policy that says employees' kids can attend for free, as long as they get accepted. One janitor had five kids who all got in, saving nearly $700,000 in tuition. God, I'm really giving brownie points to Boston College if they're still doing this despite someone here who clearly took advantage of the system. I needed this so much today. Uh, hi, Dublin Bus News. My three-year-old wanted to know how you decide which buses get to sleep inside the depot garage and which have to sleep out in the yard. Uh, hi, Matthew. 
we have rang around to a few of the depots and we can confirm that all buses are loved equally and take turns sleeping inside the warm depot. Those sleeping outside are given cocoa to keep warm. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cute. There are two drunk men outside my window and all they're saying is, No, you're my best friend in the whole world. Back and forth. 